Hello there YouTube and Visual Basic Fanatics. Okay, today we're going to be um, helping out a couple of newbies and we're going to be looking at the RGB color scheme for colors. Okay, um, so what I've done is I've created a form, okay, the basic form, and on the form I've stuck a label. I've just changed the label, the font to be uh, very big and bold, okay, and um, on the form itself I've dragged a track bar. All right, and I've set the, uh, the orientation to vertical. I've also changed the maximum to 255. All right, so um, what it allows us to do is track from 0 to 255. Okay, the 255 is the maximum number, um, the integer number for every color. Okay, each one of these columns will represent a color, red, green, and blue. Okay, and every um, step would actually count as a value therein okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off there's no code yet so um, I'm going to start off by declaring the colors as integers so dim red as integer okay dim green as integer and dim blue as integer okay then we need to say every time there is a change in the value of a color, we need to update the, the, the label color. So we're going to need to create a sub. We're going to go public, change color, okay. And to do that we're going to say um, dim my color as as a color, okay, and that will equals of a color dot from RGB, okay, and um, if you can click on these little up and down arrows, you'll see that we have an alpha, red, green, and blue, okay, so the alpha will be 255, 255, 255, 255. Okay, and um, that's just for now. And then we're going to say me.label1 dot for color equals my color. Okay, and me.refresh. Okay, we want it to refresh and show us all of the values. Okay, so um, what I've done is I've um, instantaneously just uh, changed the RGB from 255, 255, 255, 255, and therefore if we, for example, run the event, form load, and go change color, give it a run, our label is now white okay so um, every time we change one of the values then we're going to need to change these so I'm going to say this is a red this equals to red okay our red integer on the top there this is the green one so this one equals to green okay and this is blue so this one equals to blue all right and um, now to change those values so I'm just going to click, double click on this. When you scroll on track bar 1, I'm just going to go, this is red, so red equals me dot track bar 1 dot value and also me dot label 2 dot text equals track bar 1 dot value ok once it's done that it also needs to change the color ok so let's give it a shot and as you can see how it goes red to black to red to black ok very good now the next one going to be exactly the same 
except this one's going to be green. It is checkpot two, okay, and label three. And for the last one, this will be blue. Drag bar three, label four. Okay, that'll also be tracked by three, and this one will be tracked by two, and let's give it a go. Okay, so that goes to red, to yellow, to white, to purple, to blue. Okay, so as you can see, um, um, what we're doing is we're actually changing the integer for each color and those colors actually uh, combine a certain level of um, pigments per inch so the changes all obviously change the color of our, f um, of our control so what I would like to point out as well is um, gray is actually um, all three of them at the same level for example if I go to 30, go to 30, go to 30, it doesn't actually look like it's changed much but let's go for the next one, let's go to 80, 80, 80, you can now see it's grey, go to 145, 145, 145 it's grey 205 205 205 so as long as all three of them are on exactly the same values let's get on 205 there we go as long as all three of them are on the same values it will be different shades of grey okay so everything on top would be white everything at the bottom would be black okay and a variance of different colors in between so i hope this helps um you can have a fiddle around play around with that um if you have any questions you can post them subscribe to my channel if you want and um, i'll see and help you with your code enjoy cheers bye